My name's Chef Egg, and I want to give you the skills you need to create healthy and flavorful recipes that you and your whole family will enjoy. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a chicken fajita salad. Now, if you're anything like me, taco and taco-related foods like this fajita salad are going to be a big hit with you and your family. The first thing we have to do is season the chicken. So we've got some chicken over here that's been cut into about half inch strips. And when we cut the chicken down to size, the marinade is gonna soak in and add more flavor to the food, but it's also gonna take much less time to cook. So to marinate the chicken, we're gonna add some salt, fresh cracked pepper, a good amount of chili powder, some ground cumin, and some oregano. Next, we're gonna take some vegetable oil and put it right on top. Now we're gonna to toss the chicken with all of the spices and the oil. After you mix this up, you're gonna place this in the fridge and let it marinate for about a half an hour. We're gonna use a cast iron grill pan for this, but feel free to use your grill outside or you can place the chicken underneath a broiler. Our grill pan's nice and hot and now it's time to grill up this chicken. We're gonna cook this chicken for about seven minutes on each side. When you start to see the chicken cook up the side, then you know it's time to flip it over. While the chicken is cooking, we're gonna start to chop up our onions and bell peppers. So I've got this red onion over here, and we've peeled it and cut it in half. And I'm gonna take the tip of my knife and slice out the root end like that. What we're gonna do is cut this onion nice and thin right along the grain. Next, we've got some bell pepper. I'm gonna slice around the sides of the bell pepper just like this. So again, take your knife with control and support and use your bear claw to measure every single cut and keep your fingers safe. Rock that knife forward just like that. Now as you see, the chicken is cooking halfway up the sides. It's going from translucent to opaque and that's how you know it's ready to flip over. Once we flip the chicken, we're gonna cook it for another three to four minutes until the chicken is cooked through. We're gonna take the chicken off the grill and let it cool down completely before we pack it up. While the chicken's cooling, we're gonna cook up our onions and peppers. We're gonna take a pan over medium high heat and we're gonna add a little oil to the bottom. Once this oil starts to smoke, we're gonna add our onions and peppers and saute them until they're golden brown. That should take about five minutes. While the onions and peppers cook, we're gonna start to build up our salad. The first thing we're gonna do is chop up some romaine lettuce. Gather it up with your hands and rock that knife forward. If you wanna try the saute, get the food to the bottom of the skillet and pop it up and back to you really gently, just like that. This is a really gentle way to toss the food and make sure that it doesn't break up and become mushy. After the lettuce, we're gonna take some cherry tomatoes and put a little bit on each. And we're using cherry tomatoes because we don't have to cut them. And if you don't have to cut them, that means the liquid's not gonna come out. Next up, we're gonna take some black beans. After that, we're gonna add some fresh corn. You can add canned or frozen corn as well. This is just raw, fresh corn that's been cut right from the cob. Now these onions and peppers look fantastic. They smell really sweet. And as you can see, they're charred on the outside while being slightly undercooked in the middle. This is gonna give great texture and awesome flavor. Now we're gonna take some of these onions and peppers and put a little bit in each salad. Now we can take some of this chicken that's cooled down and put a little bit on each salad. We're gonna finish this off with a quarter of a lime. Now all you have to do is let this cool down completely, cover it up and place it in your fridge and you'll have lunches all week long. And that's how you make a chicken fajita salad. For more videos and recipes, check out woundedwarriorproject.org and get cooking today.